Hello and welcome to the Mexop demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. Without further delay we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. Now the next step we're going to take a look at is programming a simultaneous five-axis operation in here. Okay, okay, wow. And Showbot uh, is able to handle simultaneous machining, right? The Shopbot five-axis machine tool can handle both uh, indexed and simultaneous. Now it depends on what configuration of visual cam you're using. So if you're going to be using the professional configuration, the professional configuration uh, allows you to do indexed programming only. If you have the premium configuration, then you can also program simultaneous five-axis operations. Mm, okay. So professional uh, give you some simultaneous for four axis. Yes, I think right. Professional includes simultaneous uh, four axis and indexed five axis. Premium okay. offers simultaneous five axis and also indexed five axis in addition okay. to four axis. So it has all the features of professional plus simultaneous five axis on the premium configuration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I have this part uh, that is uh, designed. You could have designed it in Rhino or you could have designed it in any CAD system you could import in. I also have a stock created in here, uh, stock by a region or an extrusion as you see it. Now we have a roughing operation program. So you could do a combination of both indexed and a continuous toolpath. So there is a three-axis roughing operation that's programmed as you see it. And let's mm -hmm. go on a verification. So I'm going to pause simulate to end. So the three-axis roughing operation has been programmed with an end mill. Now you want to make sure that you have your machine tool defined correctly. Five-axis head-head configuration, your primary axis, your secondary axis can be defined uh, right in here and you can also specify the rotary axis limits for primary and secondary axis and you can input your gauge length parameter as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have programmed the roughing toolpath. The next step is I would like to program a finishing toolpath but I want the tool to follow the surface, be normal to the surface. So that's where you can use your simultaneous five axis operation. So you go over to exactly. five axis and you could choose from uh, different types of operations in here. You could start with a surface normal machining. This would be similar to your uh, parallel finishing or also on a surface parallel machining. So in five axis simultaneous you would actually have to select surfaces for machining. Here I'm going to mm -hmm. pick this surface and this is the surface I would like to program. That's my drive surface and when you select the surface you'll notice that the surface is automatically being added under drive surface. It also displays the orientation of the surface normal. So if the surface normal is not in the correct orientation you need to flip it. You can use these controls to reverse the normal orientation of the surface. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Next step is to make your selection for the tool, feeds and speeds, your clearance. You have different ways you can establish clearance for simultaneous five axis. You can do a, a planar, you can do a spherical clearance or a cylindrical clearance where you can specify the clearance uh, X, whether you want to do X, Y or Z. You can input all the parameters. Now for this particular process I'm going to just do a planar uh, clearance definition and then you set your cutting parameters where you can specify the cut pattern, cut traversal, step over, uh, you have any additional tool axis control you can also do multiple levels in finishing. Entry and exit parameters can be specified right in here. And you can also do a gouge check. So typically in five axis, when you select the surface for machining, that's the only surface that's going to be taken into account for programming your toolpaths. But you want to make sure that you don't gouge any adjacent surfaces. So you use gouge check and say so you want to check for gouge against these surfaces in here. So you don't cut into these adjacent surfaces or walls. So you want to make sure you add them for gouge check and you can also specify what strategy you want to apply for gouge check, whether you want to retract along the tool axis, you want to move the tool away or leave out the gouging points if there is a gouge that's determined. And now you pick generate and that will compute your tool pad. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I turned off my, my microphone because that was so loud, I'm sorry. No problem. So as you can see, the surface parallel finishing toolpath has been generated. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to run a verification in here and you'll notice that when you simulate the toolpath, the tool is being normal to the surface at all times. Yeah. So this is a simultaneous 5-axis or also known as a true 5-axis machining. Excuse me, Yude. I'm so sorry. I was a little ashamed for that, for the noise. Could you explain me again about the, the gouge? Uh, that gouge is for avoid that the, the tool go down, I mean turn for the, for the border. Is, well, is to check coll for collision against adjacent surface. So if uh, you want to make sure that the tool is not, uh, you know, cutting into any of the adjacent surfaces. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So that that gouge helps or make sure that the, the tool never go out of the surface. Always touch the surface. Yes, uh, we said retract along tool axis, which means it, it may ride along the surface, but it's going to check for gouge against the tool tip, the tool uh, shank, and also the holder. So there's and the gouge check. You have the options to specify, uh, you know, what part of the tool geometry you want to set for gouge. You can say shaft, tip, and also clearance. You can specify for it. Okay. So now once you have this toolpath programmed in here, you could go ahead and output the G-code. So right click on the machining job and then you select post all. And we have the post processor selected in here. We want to do the shop bot as the post processor. So you would pick shop bot inch as your post processor from the list and then post it and your posted code would now show up and you can see the first operation is an indexed operation at three axis and then once the roughing is completed you will see that there is a simultaneous five axis output in here so you have the five axis output your M5 represents your five axis output you have your XYZ coordinates and then your primary and the secondary coordinates A and B Mm, so this is a simultaneous five axis output. Always, yes, it's like a model uh, um, process. One question, if the surface is not just one, um, maybe we can let me minimize sure. this. Or maybe you can do it. Here, uh -huh. yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, here we have just one um, uh, uh, surface, right? But what about if this, for any reason, this uh, uh, geometry is um, uh, is created by the addition of one by here, maybe another by here, another by here, three surfaces. I need to, to, to touch or select all those three surfaces in order to machine in this, this part. Yes, you would select them as either a drive surface or a gouge surface depending on um you know what surfaces you would like to machine now for example I'm going to pull in another example in here and we'll take a look at that as well uh, just give me one moment here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the, the deep of my question means exactly something like that we we have by some reason one arc by here and another arc by over there there are three or four or six several uh, surfaces so we can uh, in the moment when we choose the surface for make normal to the surface I choose all of them at the same time mm -hmm. that is correct so you can select these surfaces and program your toolpath so in this particular case I want to have these three surfaces selected in here I generate my toolpath and you can see that now uh, in the animation you're programming this particular surface. Let me slow down the simulation so I can get her. <laughs> yeah, that was so fast. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And now you define your machine tool. I hadn't defined it as a five axis machine. And now when you post process this out to shop bot, 
you will notice the output in here. And everything is M5. Mm -hmm. M5 represents a, a true 5 axis motion. Simultaneous 5 axis. So you set your primary secondary axis, you generate your toolpath, you post process, and there's your output for primary and the secondary angle. Okay, now I yeah, yeah, so you can select multiple surfaces to program your toolpaths. Mm -hmm. You can also specify your rotary axis limits in here. And then post process it. You'll see the angle output right in here. Uh, there is a change inside. Okay. Mm -hmm.